<clears throat> so, what's I doing? Oh yeah, corrupted son. Does it say the level? 27? It shouldn't be a problem, right? Should be able to take on pretty much anything in this game by now. Keep that for later. Ravager. Oopsie. Hello. Mother liquor. Thank you. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. crumbles. Ridiculous amount of damage in those uh can stop tensing up. Oh leveling increases your health pool. That makes sense. So this zone is sorted. I guess we'll head down and take this as well. Can't be too prepared. And then we're talking to Wadiv. So we think about uh Dune and false Fremen name Wadi, but I haven't really acknowledged any uh, Dune references in this game. I 
feel like there's been me. some Matrix influences, for example. And of course there's a ton of gameplay elements from Far Cry. Come on, we're gonna climb. So that's that. That's a lot of stuff sorted. It's very good actually. Okay, let's do a quest. Which means this talk to three toe Hwadib, who is all the way down here. Luckily, I already have the campfire. For a moment there, I felt like I had forgotten to start recording. You're free to Hwadiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, uh, and promised us treasure. Clear enough. a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Vanasha. Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful pots. Oh no. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Fair enough. So what Something is it? Something attacked you from underground. A snap jaw? Oh, you picked that up, did you? Underground. Oh, okay. I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. Well, it tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Hmm. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? <sighs> well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. <laughs> well, 
I have been wanting to get revenge on one of those assholes for a while now. I'd have to ditch something. Come on. It's this one. How do we get down there? It's the just go this way, I guess. Risky, but there's a some... oh, there it is. Let me just, uh Rock breaker. You can freeze the body. Come on, I shut your foot. Timing, timing, always the, not the timing.
easiest enemy, I suppose. Maybe I should use... some other type of ammo on him next time. Because they said body was weak to all, so supposedly maybe you can put him on fire as well. Pretty full on resources. Need them soon enough. And conveniently enough. Hmm. Now what? Back up there. By the radiant sun, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. If you say so. Can't be that easy though. Ah, little huntress. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are you men, Eve? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. <sighs> the way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Well, now you do. Unless plot wills it differently. Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carter, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore, carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Well. Some traps would be nice. Think so. Shall we prepare a little surprise for them? Are you sure you don't have any traps, little huntress? Take cover up there, behind that rock. Here they are. Let's make it hurt, shall we? Here they are. She's over there, okay. Stand around here waiting for them for a long time. Then. Say good night, little one. Well, that was entertaining, but I 
suspect we're not done. More of the bastards. Get ready. Corrupted machines. Save you now. This is it. Oh, grasp. Well, now, seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. That it. Uh, going down fast. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. Sounds jinxy. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. Damn, those two are brave. Oh, those two are very brave. expected it would be wood
don't think this guy's broke guns. Timing we're looking for. This guy is for brave. Got too much already. Okay. Is this lady trustworthy then? You're gonna look at me and go, what the frick is she doing? We're picking flowers now. And sticks, come on. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh uh, well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Hmm. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Well, we're approaching the end, though. They haven't been doing much of this cut scenery lately.
Edaman, my brother. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word. <laughs> Who is that guy? The sun. <laughs> Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. This NPC is like, this is my docks. I always patrol here. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks. I promise. Oh. Take a look at these wares. Won't find better wares. So that was that. Still quite a few things left to do. Talk to Nil now. Let's see what he's up to. Top of the fire, okay, sure. Nil, I did wonder on my way here. Well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this, much better. There's a sense of drama. So, he wants us so, what do you say? How about we try to kill each other? Wait. You brought me out here to ask if I want to fight you? To the death. We'll savor it because we only get this one time. Actually, I don't know what else I expected. I don't want to fight Nil. I'm, um, flattered that you think of me this way, but I don't want to kill you. Don't be hasty. When it's life against death, hunter against hunter, I know it'll come so to you. he's made up his mind already. Is that really already. what you want, Nil? You know, I don't think you have a death wish. What you have might be worse, but I see there might be a need for you in this world. I don't understand. I won't fight you. That's my decision. You can respect it, or try to shoot me in the back as I go. Then it's over. Your last arrow is the cruelest. I don't want to fight no. Keep that for later. That's the end of that quest line as well, that's nice. Then it's this. Pitch cliff, death from the skies. Oh. 
the way up here. Huh. And there's a corrupted zone. And that. Let's take the corrupted zone first. if I set it on fire. Stop dragging me along. We have to switch direction, I guess. What's gonna do? I'm really setting fire the way I would want to. I'd say that if you stay quiet, they'll lose track of you. Touch map here.
weak spot. Setting them on fire is worth the effort. If I freeze this guy, Just have to keep shooting them. Ow, I don't Shit. Let's try the socks. Too much.
Let me set it on fire once more, it's over. Guys, corrupted at that. Jeez. Ooh, rabbit. Pretty funny if that's how I get this. No, I still need the fish stuff. Or maybe I was just even done with rabbits instead. Here's good. Oops. Never thought I would run out of sticks. Pick up every stick I see. Glen talks. This must be Pitchcliff. Especially if we're gonna fight the Glen talks. in the right way. Let's join the villagers as nice. Dodge, man.
Kill it. Thank you. I'm I exhausted. Speak to whoever's in charge. This is the third flock we face today. Just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? Wow, well, it's a, a long man story. Named outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put. I'll throw him in irons. He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten dirt wad of a brother. Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glinthawks? Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glinthawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Us around use our scrap. Not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glinthawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from him, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. Hmm. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Oh. Hmm. Tell me where he is. And I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hogs to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bung. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Why don't I investigate why the glint hogs are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carge is behind all this. You keep saying that. We'll see. Do you have a merchant? Yeah. Good. Let's see, resources, shards, shards, I 
Some of the more annoying ones to get, I suppose. Let's sell this crap. Sure, can sell like green mods without much worry. Okay, I'll be good enough for now. Miracle, we survived. Just to get. Oh, this is pitch clip. That device is sending out a signal. It might be what's attracting the Glintox. Yeah, that's pretty suspicious. Turn off! Turn off! Um, what are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! That device is making the Glinthawks attack. Turn it off. Me? I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on. I scrounged it from an old workshop. Oh my god. How about you just hit it? <sighs> well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swoop down and attack to everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Motherfucker. Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment. The likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glintox? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. This I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. So you annoying. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. That's a pretty good time. 
for a break. And uh, head down to that campfire and see if I can loot any sticks and or other useful items on the way. Up. I think also I should grab myself a rope caster for those more annoying encounters where there's more than one really heavy enemy. Well, that'll be for next time. <laughs>